The cost for consumers to stream Netflix popular series Squid Game just got more expensive in US The Los Gatos-based company on Friday raised U.S. subscription prices by as much as $2, depending on the plan. The price increase comes as the streamer's subscriber growth in the U.S. slowed down as it faces more competition from rivals such as HBO Max and Disney+. If Netflix can't raise revenues and continue to raise revenues by adding subscribers, then they have to do it by by raising prices, said Bree. This price increase is just part of their need to continue to raise revenues, to be able to compete effectively, to be able to create interesting content and then to be able to market effectively as competitions heightened. Before the pandemic, Netflix had faced questions about weaker U subscriber growth and whether it could maintain its momentum. But that changed as COVID-19 swept the globe and people joined Netflix in droves as they looked for ways to entertain themselves at home. That momentum has continued thanks to hit shows like Squid Game, the acclaimed South Korean survival drama. In the third quarter, there were 213. 56 million global subscribers to the streaming service, up 9% compared with a year ago. Still, some analysts are anticipating Netflix that will miss its internal subscriber projections for the fourth quarter. An average of analyst estimates compiled by FactSet predicts the streamer will add 8. 4 million new global subscribers in the fourth quarter compared with Netflix's forecast of 8. 5 million. Netflix will release its earnings results January 20. Netflix's large library of TV shows like fantasy series The Witcher and movies such as Red Notice has helped attract more consumers to its platform. The streamer spent $17 billion on content last year and could spend up to $22 billion in 2022, said Ray Wang, principal analyst of Palo Alto-based Constellation Research. Netflix also is expanding its programs in local languages, helping attract viewers internationally. Wang says he believes customers will shrug off the price increase, adding many customers see Netflix as a core streaming service. Right now, Netflix delivers enough value to justify the spend, Wang said.